China has objected to a proposal by India to blacklist senior Pakistan-based Jashay Mohammad, Jam, terrorist Abdul Rauf Azhar at the United Nations Security Council. Brother of Jam Chief Masood Azhar, Abdul Rauf, born in 1974 in Pakistan, has been involved in planning and executing numerous terror strikes in India including the hijacking of Indian Airlines aircraft IC-814 in 1999, the attack on the parliament in 2001 and the targeting of the IAF base in Pathan Court in 2016. It is learned that China objected to the proposal from India to add Abdul Rauf of the GEM to the UN Security Council's 1267 ISIL and Al-Qaeda sanctions list. Rauf Azhar was sanctioned by the US in December 2010. In August last year, China, a permanent, veto-wielding member of the UN Security Council, had put a hold on the proposal by India and the US to designate Rauf Azhar as a global terrorist and subject him to assets freeze, travel ban and arms embargo. Beijing, an all-weather friend of Islamabad, had last year put holes on proposals to blacklist Pakistan-based terrorists Hafiz Tala Saeed, Lashkar-e-Taiba leader Shahid Mahmood and Lashkar-e-Taiba terrorist Sajid Mir under the Al-Qaeda sanctions regime. In June last year, China put a hold on a joint proposal by India and the US to designate Abdul Rahman Maki, the deputy chief of Pakistan-based terror group Lashkar-e-Taiba under the 1267 Sanctions Committee. In January this year however, Maki, the head of the political affairs wing of JUD Let and the brother-in-law of Let Chief Hafiz Mohammad Saeed, was designated a global terrorist by the UN after China lifted its hold on the joint India-US proposal to blacklist him, paving the way for the Security Council's Al-Qaeda Sanctions Committee to list him through consensus. During India's presidency of the UN Security Council in December 2022, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar called out Pakistan and China in his remarks to the Council briefing on global counterterrorism approach challenges and way forward, saying the contemporary epicenter of terrorism remains very much active in evidence-backed proposals to blacklist terrorists under sanctions regimes are put on hold without assigning adequate reason.